could spend two days on whale evolution. Every one of them, Ambulocetus and Pachycetus, have all been proven baloney. They can't be intermediate species, okay? The authors were certain the feet were enormous, even though nothing was found. <laughs> Basilosaurus could not possibly have been ancestral to any of the modern whales. Pachycetus was made from one small piece of jaw, a few, a small piece a small piece of skull, a small piece of jaw, and a few teeth. You find a little bit of jaw, a little bit of skull, a couple of teeth, and you know that it's half whale, half something on land? That's kind of a stretch, don't you think? Yeah, we'll cover more on that later, but there's all kinds of stuff on our website about this. Well, I believe we have a... Uh, is this Jared on the phone? Yes, it is. How you know, hey, I, Jared, I we missed you. Go ahead. <laughs> I missed you, too. Um, so did did uh, Jonathan send you that, that link? There should be a link on your instant messenger right there, Dr. Hoban, of a, a picture. About whales, Dartmouth? Yes. Can Math, you click on it and see the image? Math.dartmouth.edu. Dartmouth okay. Okay, Pachycetus, Rotocetus. Yeah, you yeah. might have to magnify the image so you can see the full thing, because sometimes it was in small. Sure. Yeah, see the full thing? Oh, well, they got red lines and blue lines. What does this mean, the red and blue? Right, the red and blue lines. I well, we got a break right now, Jared. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to be right back after the okay. break. Okay, welcome. I'll, I'll look sure. at your pictures here. Okay, be right back. Okay. Aristotle taught a form of evolution, the great chain of being. No, no. See, there was there were there were hypotheses of evolution. There well, was there were no theories. Of Jared, evolution. are are you saying that they were not creations because of affirmative evidence, but they were creations because they just didn't have anything else to be? Yes. So they just said, well, you know, we don't have any other options. So what what the heck? What when I would just be creationist? Yeah, why do you think that primitive people believe that the uh, sun well, falls around the earth? No, they, had on, no, they, they had no other option. They had no other way to tell anything. So you're, saying, what they you're, you're saying these you know, reputable scientists in history were just believing something, not because they had any reason to believe it, but just because they didn't have anything else to believe. So they, they were dumb. Have, no, they were they dumb, have, and you're smart. That's what you're saying. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> That's what you are. My mouth. Okay. Don't put words in my mouth, please. Okay. No, they, they didn't have, they didn't know better, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But, you know, but you know better. But if all those people were alive today, they would know better and they would all be evolutionists. Yeah, and you know better too, Ken. You're just resisting it because you have a religious background. I know better. Do you really think that I uh, would be an evolutionist or want to be an evolutionist if I, you know, or am too dumb to be an evolutionist? Is that what you think? I think that you are smart enough to where you would believe in evolution were it not for your Christianity. And I think that you are smart enough that you would believe in creation if it weren't for some kind of stumbling block or blinders you've got on. Come on, man. I, I still sort of believe well, something in between. I'm where, telling you, I'm still don't believe in evolution fully. Where, I'm, where I'm, do I'm the fighting people, this every day. Where do the people fall? I guess, okay, you just said Dr. Hoven believes in uh, creation because of his creation or because of his Christianity, and uh, he would believe in evolution if it weren't for his Christianity, right? For, yeah, for his religion. Uh, what about the people who are very well established and well respected amongst the evolution crowd to convert and start believing in creation as opposed to evolution? Uh, you're going to have to give me a specific example. Of uh, Dean Kenyon, author of Biochemical Predestination, one of the best-selling biochemical uh, textbooks of his time. Dean Kenyon? Okay. Dean Kenyon. And, and he was an evolutionist before he... A big-time evolutionist. Yeah. Stanford University. Wasn't he Stanford or San Francisco State? I can't... I don't know which one it was. Uh, somewhere out the West Coast. Anyway, he, he wrote the book of Pandas and People. Oh, really? And that he, one. Yep. And he's now a creationist, and they, they fired him because he switched over to being creationist. Well, I'll have to look at his story. I, I yeah. think the people like him are probably a very rare exception. Well, the people who stood up to the Soviet Union against communism were pretty rare, too. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that. Okay. Uh, you, got, you sent me the pictures. Yeah, anyway. Um, Pachycetus is one of them. You're saying yeah, this is evidence for evolution. Hold on. Yeah, the, the top left line, what color is that? Red. Yeah, that's red. I, I don't like it when I pronounce it in front of me. Okay. That one's red. So the, the red line on the left and the blue line on the right, right? Yes. Um, that, the, the midpoint between the two lines represents where uh, the nasal cavity ends on the skull. Okay. So that's that's the nostrils supposedly evolving into the blowhole on the top of the orca's skull, right? Oh, okay. Right? So uh, one of the points of this is, is if you look at Durodon, uh, Durodon, however you pronounce it, uh, do you agree that that's a whale? Would you call that a whale? I, from the skeleton, I don't know. Have these, are, are these, have these been found alive, or is this only skeletal remains we find? No, Durodon is, a, is an extinct species that's never been found alive. It's, it's, I think it dates from the Eocene or thereabouts. Oh, I disagree it's, with all that you know, Eocene uh -huh. stuff, but that's okay. Well, it's supposedly millions of years old, and they're all extinct. We never found one alive. What is the difference between the Durodon and the Zuglodon? Is that the same family? or? I don't know. 
Now, the Zeuglodon, um, or the Basilosaurus, would that be considered Basilosaurus? No, Duodon and, and Basilosaurus are different uh, species. Different. I think they're reminding me different genera. But... Okay.